College is a great adventure. Figuring out how to pay for it responsibly can feel overwhelming, but it doesn't have to. That's why we've come up with our one, two, three approach to paying for college. Start with money you won't have to pay back. Begin with money that's been set aside in a simple savings account or dedicated college savings account, as well as any current income you can use. Then include scholarships, grants, and federal work study. You'll want to find as much as you can. Look for scholarships. They're a great way to get free money. A tool like Sally Mae's Scholarship Search is a free, easy way to be matched with opportunities. Grants and federal work study are generally funded by the government. You'll need to submit the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, to apply for them. Second, explore federal student loans. They're issued by the government. Again, you apply by completing the FAFSA. Generally, a federal loan for undergraduate students is taken out by the student, who's responsible for paying it back. There are also loans for parents and graduate students. Third, fill any gap with a responsible private student loan. It can make the difference. They're offered by banks, like Sally Mae, and credit unions, who look at your financial history to see if you qualify. A co-signer, like a parent, guardian, or other adult with good credit, may help your loan get approved maybe even with a lower interest rate. When you're looking for a private education loan, see if it offers competitive interest rates. Does it have a variety of borrower benefits, such as free FICO scores? And does it offer a variety of flexible repayment options? One, two, three. Remember these steps when you need to pay for college.